Hi, I'm Laura Anderson, and I am here today with Jamel Bowie, who is a Slate staff writer focusing on politics, but he is also an amazing cook. So tell me about this pie. Uh, so this pie is called a salted honey pie. Uh, it's called salted because you sprinkle salt on top before you bake it, but the core of it is just a honey custard. It's just the, the honey, um, about three quarters of a cup, some heavy cream, some eggs, some butter, sugar. Um, a few other things, and boom, there you go. Nice. So where did you learn this recipe? I've never actually heard of a honey custard pie before. So I, I learned about it, or heard about it, in a baking contest I did a couple months ago. Um, I entered my pie, uh, various people entered their pies. Uh, I ended up winning. But this other pie, the salted honey pie, got second place. So after the contest, I'd look up, look up the recipe on the internet and um, have kind of like adopted it as a thing that I make. So in terms of the salt that you sprinkle on top of the pie, does it matter what kind of salt you use? It, it does. Um, you, you can use sort of like fine grain sea salt or kosher salt. Mm -hmm. um, I would not use regular old table salt, but uh, I prefer to use very flaky sea salt. Uh, and if you can get your hands on some flavored sea salt, which is a little unusual, but it's around, um, that's also really cool too. But so like what kind of flavors would be like good? Like vanilla, um, mm -hmm. something that would like complement the, the mildness of the pie. Mm -hmm. And what are we looking for in terms of knowing that this pie is ready to come out? We're, we're looking for the filling to have sort of a, an even golden brown. It might uh, ex kind of expand a little bit. You might see like bubbles, but that's fine. It kind of just happens. Um, but an even brown, uh, that will tell you that it's set, um, that you have, uh, that when you cut it after it cools down, it won't leak. Um, it's a kind of a clean cut, mm -hmm. uh, which, is, which is nice. I, I appreciate that. This pie looks amazing. Thank you. And uh, I can't wait to learn the recipe for the pie that actually won the contest. A family secret, I'm afraid. <laughs> but they don't actually sharpen it, so you do need an additional knife sharpener. Okay, this onion is ready to go. So let's say I want to top. But really, any surface will do as long as you use enough force. You should also prefer small to medium-sized eggs, which have thicker 